Okay, so our group has developed a new web platform called Ortrix, which is a combination of ORCID and Elmetrix. So the problem space that we are trying to engage with was the fact that you are very likely to have a CV like this, possibly much nicer than mine, but it is fairly boring, it is fairly linear, and if you've had an unusual academic career, like most of us have had unusual academic careers now, this is not a very good narrative. It doesn't really explain the digressions and the branches. It doesn't give a holistic view of you as a researcher or indeed as a person. Now, there are also ways that you can show that how you're engaged outside traditional academic practices of publishing, such as altmetrics. But if you use something like ORCID and altmetrics, you still get that same linear list, although you do occasionally get little colorful donuts next to your nice linear list. So what we wanted to develop was ORCID, and ORCID is a web platform that allows you to pull your ORCID data, your sort of um, nicely defined um, DOIs, your altmetric data that's attached to those DOIs, and add a narrative around it, a narrative that includes both text about what caused that research output to be created, and also images, if that helps you explain that output and the research and the collaboration behind it. We have on our GitHub repository um, a full list of the requirements um, which are pretty simple. You just need your ORCID ID and what you want to say and the images that you want to put around those different items. And at the very end of it, you will have produced for you a lovely website. Now, this is a template website. We did it with mine first. The idea would be that it would pull your biographical information as well as your name from ORCID. And for each <coughs> of your works, you can have it displayed as um, an altmetric with full details. This is not my article, by the way, sadly, I don't have that interesting of an article up there. Um, you can have simple images surrounding it, or an image and a simplified donut. Um, that's entirely tweaked, so it doesn't really need to break down. Now, how do we go about making this? Well, oh, sorry, before we said that, um, you also have the idea of multiple templates, the idea that maybe you just don't want to have that long narrative page, maybe you want something a little bit more like a slideshow, something that is going to present each of your different outputs as a separate slide. So how do we go about doing that? Well, first of all, we have this lovely little um, entry page that runs on your local server once you've downloaded the program. And into this box, you enter your ORCID ID. So, um, you don't have to know their open ID off the top of their head. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, can you say that again? Zero, zero, zero? Well, yes, but I'm going to do something else. Zero, 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 zero? Yep. Zero, 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 two? Yep. Three, nine, eight, two? Yep. Seven, five, four, five? <laughs> so, you don't have, so unfortunately you don't have all the detailed information that is pulling from it. <laughs> yes. So um, if we put that in here, we can see it's probably Yes. There's no way to do that. But at the moment, if you um, we are hoping to develop a web app that will let you can put, put this in a bit more of a user-friendly way, but at the moment, you have this YAML file which you populate with the DOI of the item from your ORCID account, the text and the images you want attached to it, and then the script pulls these things together, downloads the ORCID information, the altmetric information, and attaches it to the text and the images you want to portray, which is how you end up with one that looks a little bit more like mine. In the end, what you're hoping for is this will create a HTML page that you can save, download, edit if you want to, and put it on your staff page of your university, put it on your personal web page, or just use it to introduce yourself during keynotes. Um, our entire package 
language is available on an MIT license, and it is built upon things with equally liberal license as well. The web page itself is a bootstrap-powered website. So just as a final note, I would like to thank all of my fellow contributors to the project. I think everyone worked in pairs with everyone else at one point, and citation is not credit. The ideas of the Google Map are not accurate collection. Everyone contributed equally, and it was great fun to put together. Thank you.